Libra. What a goddamn B, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds Tevro. Yes, indeed. I am back at it again with your May forecast. Sign off. <laughs> Let's on me. Libra, what's going on, baby? Hey, Scorpion Reds. Hey, look. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to everyone that's been sending love, light, and peace, and prosperity, and abundance, and everyone that's just been, you know, just sending well wishes and just love towards me. I really greatly appreciate y'all are like one of my biggest supporters, and I love Libra so much, and I hope that y'all feel the love that I have for y'all. Shout out to all my Libras, especially all my new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who clicked this video. Thank you so much for the support and love that you showed on my page. If there is anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, all you have to do is click that About tab. You'll see a couple links there. You'll see my booking link. So first thing you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. So you need to click that link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Book the type of reading that you want, then double back and link up with me. So there's a um, link as well for my Instagram I typically prefer to do video chats you do have the option to have a direct upload to YouTube which is called an add-on it's called this is like a $10 add-on is to call a video recap so if you don't want to get on camera you can purchase your reading and then just you know add the add-on but still link up with me at the on Instagram like I said the link is in the about tab is right under the booking or you can just download um Google Hangouts and we can either do the video chat on Google Hangouts or you can use my email and you can just send me a message on there if you don't have an Instagram or don't want to use your Instagram and just say hey um, I purchased the add-on um, don't you know can you just upload the video to YouTube here's my questions okay so, um, and again, my email for Google Hangouts is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So, uh, first book and then link. And you link by either using Instagram or Google Hangouts using my email, scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? If you want to send some love and light to the page, you can do so. I have two options now, thanks to one of my ingenious um uh, clients that I just had a reading with she said hey why don't you put a Amazon wish list up you know that way we kind of know what you want and we could just go ahead and you know hook you up like that and I said okay that's awesome so now there's a link to my PayPal and my Amazon wish list on my about page and in the description so if you want to send some love and light to the page you can do so and as you can see all of the love that you guys have been sending is why I'm recording on this camcorder now is why I have all of these decks and I really do hope that you guys like these new decks and the new flavor that I've been bringing to the channel and um hopefully I'm gonna continue to support you know other um uh tarot deck creators and stuff like that <clears throat> excuse me I don't know why my oh why can't talk you know I really really love mystic moon and I just recently purchased like three of her decks and we will be using that today so I hope that you guys love that and let's get into the reading <clears throat> hold on let me get some water what the heck is going on I feel like I got a, dog, a frog in my throat. Okay. That's a lot better. Okay, so let's get into the reading and let's start off with the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for my beloved, loved Libras. Thank you so much for all of the love, light, and positivity and all of the enjoyment and refreshing moments that we've been having in our life. We've been creating new memories, Father God. Like back in 2018, we were so deep in what we were in there. Like we never thought that we would be where we're at right now in life, like creating all of these new memories, like enjoying every aspect of the day and of our life. And we just are so thankful, Father God. We just feel so light, you know, that the seasons are changing. Father God, we are continuously changing. We're just like a flower, just every day constantly blooming, Father God. And we thank you so much for just all of the blessings and the growth and the, you know, the elevation and the love that you've been giving us. You've been showing us every day how strong your power is and how much you move through our life. Um, through our life, Father God, and how real you are. Um, you create miracles for us every day, Father God, and we thank you so much for that blessing. We thank you so much for that light. We thank you so much for that um, giving heart that you have to us and nurturing heart. You know, you giving us that daily bread. Thank you so much, Father God, for that just anointment and just knowing that, you know, we are just blessed and covered by you. 
We thank you so much. Please give us guidance for the month of May for Libra. And Libra is just giving their just their thanks, their adornment. Like we adore you, Father God. And we thank you so much for adoring us and showing us how much you love us every day. Please give us guidance. Thank you so much. That was such a hard prayer. I don't know whose energy that was when they were calling out to God like that, but honey, I felt you. I felt you. Ooh, I felt that one. Yes, come on now. Come on, Libra. What it be? What's the what it be up in here? What it says? Companionship. Ooh, you. <laughs> oh, and hardships. What? Damn. It went up and down. Shit. <laughs> what the deal? <clears throat> so it looked like you're going through some companionship hardship. What the? De what that? Yeah, you done got into something do that fast, Libra. Shit. You you don't waste no time, do you? Okay. Good Lord, have mercy. What the hell? Shit. <laughs> Libra, look, I was. It says when you are fully, when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way for healthy relationships, companionship. So I feel like with that being said, Libra, I feel like you not kind of resting in this aloneness right now, like. Hey, you know, I kind of get that feeling. What, what's that song like? I need somebody else. It, what was it? Um, K. Michelle. It's like I need somebody else to get over somebody or something. Mm, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Some K. Michelle song. She's saying she needed some. She needed some other pain to get over the other one. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. Because you're not embracing this aloneness and really going through the journey that you need to go through and, you know, embracing the newness of the person that you have developed yourself to become. Like, you just too busy just trying to keep busy and you are entertaining the wrong type of people. Like, you could possibly be attracting the same shit in a different toilet just because you're too busy trying to be out there instead of just sitting your ass down and just marinating, and, you know, for a bit. You know, you. I feel like you ain't trying to embrace this aloneness. Like, so, there's certain people that feel like they need somebody else to complete them or they got to be up under something like it make them feel I don't know like me I me personally I love being by myself I feel like honestly when I'm by myself I got more time to think about who I am what I want I just have more time to focus on me and then I can entertain people when I want to entertain people and I'm just not there's certain there's certain people that feel like they have to be in a relationship like if they're not in a relationship it makes them feel low it makes them feel down it makes them feel like nobody loves me it makes me feel like that don't make me feel like that that make me feel like God is giving me this time to have peace and solitude because sometimes when you so wrapped up in relationships and shit like that you lose your sense of self and sometimes the reason why people feel like they have to attach their self to something is because they don't even really know who their self is. And it's like when they're alone and by themselves, they feel so uncomfortable in the skin that they in because they ain't really taking the time to embrace their self and appreciate that aloneness. Because a lot of times, a, a lot of people don't even... I know people that pray that I just wish I was alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know people that have like big families and like they were never alone like they never had no peace and then, you know what I'm saying like <clears throat> so I just feel like you got to feel comfortable and embrace being in the skin that you're in like looking at that man in the mirror and just knowing that you okay with just being just that and elaborating on what you see like making that more beautiful being more fulfilled in that and enjoying that peace and tranquility and that oneness within self that you so into loving yourself like other people going to see that glow and they going to come to you like bees to honey, bees to, to, to a, 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 a dandelion or something like 
they're going to try to pollinate you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're looking real sweet over there because you're treating yourself real good. You're loving yourself real good. You know what I'm saying? When you're not in a place where you see that beauty within yourself and you crave companionship, you're going to be attracted. Like the type of, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> it's one thing when you're your own companion and you love yourself and you're going to attract people that are like that and going to, you know what I'm saying? You grab the people that are going to gravitate to you are going to be on a different scale versus someone who craves companionship. It's a difference. May I embrace what's happening right now as baffling or as painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. So fruit, some strange fruit is being bared right now. You don't know what the fuck is going on. Like I ain't, you know, just when you planted that tree, you ain't even know that that tree even be whatever type of fruit that you like. What the, can I, can I even eat this? Like what, what can you do with this shit? Is it like what? You just like, I don't know what, I'm kind of baffled because I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like what the fuck is going on right now? You know what I'm saying? Like this look like a. A Christmas tree, but it's just like hanging fruit. I just don't even know what I don't even know what to do with that. I feel like it's something. I feel like like a, a weed or something that grew out of control or something in someone's life, and it's like you gave attention to the wrong flower, and, and you thought it was going to grow some like a an orange tree and shit, and it grew some old weird shit, and you're like what? Nigga, I needed this harvest. I can get some money or something like that. Like, I just, I don't know what to do with you. Like, I really do feel like it's someone going through some hardship. <clears throat> that they done planted something and it's growing. And they just like, honey. Shit. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You don't want to be hung up with that person no more. Listen, y'all ain't trying to be hung up in this situation no more. Y'all, uh-uh. Y'all like, uh-uh, you done turned my life upside down and I can see right side up now. And I'm about to get the fuck up, okay? Because I feel somebody feels like someone kind of locked them out. And like, someone is closed off to them. Hmm. <clears throat> Empress in reverse. No attention. The emperor. Lovers. I'm real quiet because like I... I want to say something, but I don't want to say it because it's just, you know, but I'm going to say it. So, I feel like there was a pregnancy, okay? It was a pregnancy. Or there's children or something. Because you got the empress and the emperor. The empress is in reverse. The empress in reverse and the lover card. The ladies on the ground. Okay? So... And you see, listen, <laughs> you see the lamb is out there, you know, someone locked the lamb out, okay? The emperor picked the lamb up. So this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. So I feel like someone... Feels like they got themselves caught up in a relationship. They were going through a hard time in their life. Okay? They were going through an extreme hard time in their life. Where I, they might have been going through some financial struggles. Possibly going through some health um, mishaps. Um, and I feel like... Because right now on this car, you don't see anything but a lonely lamb peering into the window... Hoping, you know, that there's somebody in there to kind of rescue them and kind of let them in because it's cold. There ain't no food out there. They're homeless. Like, you know, that type of thing like that. So, 
what I see, it was a lonely lamb that was going through an extreme hardship. Right? And they were hung up in a situation where they weren't able to see things right side up. So they had so things were turned upside down. Okay? I feel like someone closed the little sheep out while they went through this hardship. I feel like this hardship might have something to do with kids. You know, um, maybe once someone view the, things from a different angle and they seen the hardships ahead that this little lamb might go through or something like that or or they just they seen the hardship ahead and they decided like I don't necessarily want to commit myself on that level and having you know breeding children into this situation because I feel like this person was trying to maybe save themselves from the situation because I don't feel like they felt like they were getting the attention that they deserved. So it's like, if I'm not getting the attention that I deserve, like, why would I sit here and put myself in a situation where I'm going to be uncomfortable and have kids that I don't want with somebody that ain't even treat me right? And, um, yeah. They, 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 they didn't feel like they were going to win in this situation. They felt like they were going to be shut out or they were already being shut out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had to look at things from a different angle to realize, like, why do I feel like I like this person don't want to work with me? Like, I just, I feel like I'm out here on my own type of thing like that. And I feel like. This person was peering through this window to see, like, is anybody home? Like, is anyone going to help me? Like, what the fuck is going on? Whoa. Bitch. That motherfucking thunder. Listening. You was out there in the lightning in the thunder. Like, is someone going to help me here? You know what I'm saying? Either you already have kids. And you are alone and out there by yourself struggling and you are in an uncomfortable situation. Or you pregnant and you realize I'm out here by myself like this. I don't want to be like this. This is not a winning situation. This person ain't even giving me attention in this pregnancy. You know, this person is supposed to be an emperor. He's supposed to be picking me up right now and carrying me on his shoulders. And, you know, but instead I feel like... <coughs> You know, I fall in on hard times and this is supposed to be love, but I feel like this person pushed me down and, you know, hesitating to help me up type of thing. And it, but yet this is supposed to be love. Like, what the fuck? I just like, I don't know. And, and it's like, and he does rescue the lamb. After she already fell down, though, like, it's like, it's like, don't try to come rescue me because, like, don't try to come rescue me now type of thing like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, you already made this pregnancy or this being parents with each other, whatever. You already kind of made this situation unpleasant for me. You made, I don't, I don't want to be in this situation anymore. Like, you've already made this shit unpleasant. Like, I'm uncomfortable. I'm hungry. Your kids is hungry. Your baby is hungry. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I feel like it's someone pregnant because it's, it's just one lamp. It's just one right here, but yet it's children. You know? So I don't know if this is like a loss of ch of child or a voluntary loss of child or it's just you don't you you don't want to make that type of commitment. I don't know if y'all were planning, you know, because pinnacles can mean planning too, but this is a loss. This is a financial loss. This is suffering. This is bad health. This is. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that next to the empress, that means like a, t a termination of a pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Because someone wasn't getting, they weren't being acknowledged. 
They weren't being acknowledged. And Deepa felt like this ain't this ain't this ain't this ain't love. I need I need more information. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go to like another hold on cause wait, where am I going? Okay. I'm sorry, because this is like and the emperor is like an older man. Like I feel like this is like an old man. This is an old man. And it's like you you rescued the lamb after I tell you that I terminated the baby because you wasn't giving me no attention. Like I don't want that type of love. Like I swear, like I don't want like what the fuck type of shit is you on? Don't try to come pick me up now and want to take care of me now or I don't know, maybe someone could have been sick during a pregnancy or something and you were just left alone to deal with this shit by yourself. And then after you you not sick no more, now this person wanna come in like, oh yeah, I'm the emperor. I'm a I'm a I'ma come help you up. I got I'll take care of everything. Like, bitch, where the fuck was you before No. Fuck out of here. Guidance. No, cause I'm sorry. Like I'm irritated. I'm irritated. I don't like that shit. You don't do that shit to nobody. You don't take the peace from somebody. Like especially if there's somebody that's a Libra that's expecting. That should be the most precious moment in a woman's life. The most precious. Uh, ooh, ooh, I feel sick in my stomach. I'm sorry, y'all. Satisfaction. I feel like Libra having some wine now. They feel protected now. They ain't even. They don't even like your aroma. <laughs> they don't even like this person's aroma. They don't want no scent, no memory of this motherfucker. Nothing. Cause I feel like a pregnancy or. I don't know. You finally getting the satisfaction now. Now that you feel protected. You ain't give someone a key. <laughs> Cause you, you took your. You don't want no memories of nobody. Of this person or nothing. You took your key back. Okay. What does this say? 666. Raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts. And with others. Alright. And 444. Your hard work and determination is creating blessings, foundations for the future, and beard in the reverse. What the fuck type of storm is going on outside? What up? Libra, what the fuck is going on? Beard in reverse. <laughs> Libra, brother, what's going on? It's storming like shit that y'all reading. And y'all see how high my flame is? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, mm-mm. What song am I hearing in my head? Lightning in the thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning in the thunder. Thunder. Lightning in the thunder. Pow, pow, pow. Lightning in the thunder. Thunder. I don't know what the words are, y'all. Look up the words. What are the words to that song, y'all? Do it. Does that work? Hold on, let me see y'all, cause I'm sorry, I gotta get that, I gotta pull that song up now. No fuck it, I ain't got time for it. Anyway, so let me see. Y'all feel protected now. <laughs> y'all feel protected now, and y'all feel a sense of satisfaction now that this pregnancy is over, and that you can drink some wine. <laughs> like, that's what, I really got this shit. Like, you, you, you was not for it. You don't want no scent, you don't want no memory, you don't want no aroma from this person. You changed your lock. This motherfucker returned the key. Even if the person returned the key, you changed the lock just in case that motherfucker might have made a copy of that bitch. Nope, bitch. Nope, 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 motherfucker. And I might be moving, bitch. So you definitely ain't gonna be able to use that key. 666. Raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. So I feel like possibly due to the situation, Libra, like y'all might have been having a lot of low vibrational thoughts. Well, y'all been, <laughs> I just heard thinking about killing a nigga. I just, I literally just heard that shit in my head. Like, I really do. You know what I'm saying? Because 
this person put you in a place where I don't feel no woman. I don't even my my enemy. My enemy. I don't think no woman deserves to go through something and to feel unwanted and to feel unappreciated and someone's not acknowledging you. Like what the fuck type of fruit was this? Like what the fuck was we creating? I thought we was creating I thought you loved me. You know what I'm saying? This is how you show love? For real? This is your this is your definition of love? Y'all could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Listen, 444, your hard work and determination is creating blessings, foundations for the future. All right? So no matter what this person did to you, your hard work and you deciding to choose you no matter fucking what. Because guess what? I went through shit in 2018. I washed that shit away. Bitch, you nothing. Hold on, what, 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 what baby girl said? I've been through worse than you. Huh. All right? I just can't keep turning away. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. But I want you. Listen. <laughs> Libra said it would be completely immature of me. I, this beard car. I feel like some of you guys feel like this relationship was a front of some shit. Like, someone was using you because they wanted to use your key. And that's another thing, ladies. Y'all know, y'all know that these niggas is uh, hobosexual, okay? Hobosexual. What does hobosexual mean, ladies? Uh, someone said that to me in my comments. Hobosexual is a man or a woman who ain't got shit for they self. No house, no car, no job, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. Okay? No nothing. They ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing, bitch. You ain't got nothing. Okay? And they ain't out here and they would slang some ass or slang some poon to get a key for a place to stay because they ain't got shit. You understand what I'm saying? They'll even fuck with somebody they really don't even want to be with and bear strange fruit just to have security and knowing that they got a key that they can use to you know, have a place to call a home. So you have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because there are motherfuckers out there that need stability that bad. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker don't be with me because you feel like you can benefit off my motherfucker swagger like Mick Jagger. Okay? Because I got the moves like Jagger. Bitch. Don't try to motherfucking come and let me be your cover up and you want to live my lifestyle. You understand what I'm saying? You want to use my life <laughs> and promote that out there in the world. But, you know, behind that beard and shit, you ain't shit. And you ain't mature. And if I continue to deal with you and you're in any aspect, that would show my lack of maturity. I ain't got time for you. You, like, whoever this is is a grown-ass motherfucker. Because I still, because look, look at this beer car. Old fucking dirty-ass guard gnome, you bitch. I feel like, listen, you old little dusty fucking gray ball. Ugh, I'm not going to do it. I am not going to do it. You know, I don't think I have. I ever seen a gray hair on some balls. But anyway, okay, I'm going left. I'm going left. Listen, this person got some shit lurking deep in the shadow that they need to deal with. All right? And I really do feel like what Libra is saying, whatever the fuck is going on in the shadow with you, bitch, I ain't got time to deal with it. I don't even, no, I ain't got you to do. Yeah, loss of fertility. Oh, my gosh, I did lose a baby. I'm so sorry, ladies. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. If there's anyone who is dealing with a loss of a child, my heart goes out to you. Everyone in the chat, everyone watching, please say a quick prayer for these mothers and their loss. Regardless if this is a decision that they didn't want to make but had to make or a situation that they were okay with making. That is not easy for anyone. Having it been a voluntary or involuntary situation. However it happened, a loss of a child is not something that is easy for no woman. 
or for no man to deal with. Because this could be a Libra man that lost his baby. Do you see what I'm saying? So, I want everyone to just take a second and just give a quick silent prayer and just pray for strength. And, you know, quick heart, mental, and emotional, and just full body recovery. All right? And I wish y'all the best. Prosperity begins. All right? Don't worry about this shit. More fruits will be... More... Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. God got you, baby. And if it didn't happen, it didn't happen for a reason. It truly didn't happen for a reason. It might not make sense to you now, but it'll make sense to you. It'll make sense to you later. It'll make sense to you later because it's something in the shadows, Libra, that you don't see about this person. Okay? And I feel like you attracted this person to yourself because you wasn't giving yourself time to heal. You weren't. You were too busy trying to be out and about instead of allowing yourself to heal and allowing yourself to grow. And you don't give yourself time to grow unless you spend time with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to spend time with yourself. All right? So I feel like you, you guys are trying to get over the memories of this loved one or you're trying to heal your heart from it. Because right now, um, I feel like it's it's like this is a a healing heart that's maybe paying respect to the memories of a loved one because their heart chakra is balanced. This is someone that is not balanced in their heart chakra regarding this, and they're not allowing themselves to heal, and they're not allowing themselves to deal with the emotions. You see what I'm saying? So they can kind of set it free and almost pay respect to it, and it and it's a uh, tranquil place for them because I don't know if you've ever um your ancestors the people that passed over like once you got over the part of grieving and you talk to them it's not a sad thing no more it's almost like a relieving thing like it's like you have a best friend that you know that watches over you all the time you know it's, it's a different feeling so intuition um, I feel like Libra followed their intuition. And they're following their intuition. Yeah, because I feel like this relationship was based all off of lust. And it was based all off of the wrong things. And Libra knew it. And they just said, this is not good for me. Yeah, <laughs> They chose wisely. Their heart helped them make the decision to choose wisely no matter how hard it hurt. And I feel like that's why God is telling you up here, Libra, companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. May I embrace what is happening right now, as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. Don't give in to that loss of hope. Don't do that. Don't do that, baby. Because you chose wisely. You know that you did the right thing for you. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you got to do now is just don't give in to these temptations anymore. You got to allow yourself to heal. And you got to allow yourself to learn from everything that you've been going through. Trapped in fear. Hmm. Recognition and reward. I told you there was no recognition. There was no reward for that situation that you experienced. Conflict and defeat. Come on now, Libra. Baby. Baby chakra. Libra, you got to know that um, everything happens for a reason, my love. Everything happens for a reason. Not only as a message for clarity for you, 
but for everyone involved. It was for you to learn something. It was for the other person to learn something. And you have to know that you used your intuition and you knew that this wasn't good for you. And you chose wisely, you know? You knew, you knew if I feel like if the situation was still the way it was and you would have not chosen the correct thing to do and you were right here with it, I feel like you would be singing a whole totally different story. I feel like whatever you feel now, you would be feeling worse than what you feel now. But deep inside, you know that. You know that. So don't lose your hope. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your hope. Recognize yourself. Uncage yourself. Open up the gate and leave. No one's trapping you here. It's just thoughts. It's just thoughts. It's just thoughts. Libra, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. And this too shall pass. It was just another lesson. It's a lesson to teach you when you go through shit. You can't just go from one situation to another situation. You got to give yourself time to heal. You got to give yourself time to reflect. You got to give yourself time to go through the emotions that are natural to all human beings. And you know, I mean, and this is this is for everybody because when you go through shit and you don't give yourself time to nurture yourself and you don't give yourself time to heal, you will repeat the same cycle over and over and over again until you learn the lesson. And some lessons may be harder than others in hopes that you won't repeat it again. But if for some reason you still want to be hard-headed, God will watch you keep repeating it again. Then he will make the obstacle harder and harder and harder and harder of a lesson for you to get until you tired. You know, it's it, everybody has free will. It's for you to get tired doing the same shit, getting the same results. You know, right now you're getting the satisfaction. You're getting your life back. You feel protected. You don't want to be reminded of none of this shit. And you're glad you took that key back. Purify your thoughts. Don't, don't stay here. Lift yourself up. Because all your hard work and everything, all your hard work and everything is, is acknowledged. And God understands everything. God sees everything. God understands and knows your heart. Trust me. Spirit, um, if there's anyone that's dealing with Libra or that Libra has in their heart and their mind, what does Libra have to say to this person? What does Libra have to say to whoever they're dealing with in their energy? Thank you so much. Please give me the thoughts of Libra. Please give me the thoughts of Libra. All right, so it says, I keep comparing you to others. I'm still haunted by my actions. You're the only person who truly gets me. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. I know it may be too late by the time I figure things out. So, I just got, I just, I just got in my head that it was somebody that they felt like they were going to be trapped in this situation with this older man. And I don't feel like this person, like their their relationship was, I don't know, like this person didn't really give them a lot of attention. And they already felt like this person kind of leaves them out in the cold anyway. 
And I feel like they felt like they were the little lamb and that emperor wouldn't pick them up. And I feel like they might have went and aborted the child without telling him. And as you can see, like I said, the emperor ended up picking the little lamb up later on in the spread where the lamb was out there, like kind of begging to come in. And as you can see, the emperor ends up picking the lamb up. And on the level card, on the lover's card, the the man is offering to pick the girl up off the floor. So I feel like there's somebody that might have a pregnancy and they feel like they might have they kind of took matters into their own hands because they didn't feel comfortable you know and oh okay and they didn't tell this person and i feel like it kind of ruined the relationship but there's still love there but i feel like this woman is down like because the guy is like if you would have just told me what the fuck was going on, I would have picked you up and put you over my shoulder. But you really didn't communicate with me like that. Like, I ain't get this old for nothing. You think I don't know how to handle shit like that? Like, you could have just told me what the fuck was going on. Like, I didn't even know you was down like that. I'm here to pick you. I do love you. I do care about you. And I'm actually like a good father. Like... If you would have told me what was going on, I would have given you more attention. I would have spent more time with you. I would have been there for you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it um kind of affected that relationship. Because as you can see, I mean, the love, the love is still there. It's just this girl is down on the floor needing to be picked up. So this man is, or this other person is dealing with Libra and saying, I'm a better person because of you. Your beauty still moves me. They still think you're beautiful or you're still handsome. And it says, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Hmm. Is there anything else that this person dealing with Libra has to say? I feel like this this person just said to me, like, what will you expect me? What do you expect me to do after that? That's what that person just said. Like, what do you want from me? What what like, really what you want me to do after that? I I don't But it's like on a strong level, like this Libra felt like you weren't, I wasn't ready for you. Exactly. That's what Libra knew. And that's why Libra did what the fuck she did. So like, don't come now. Like, nah, if you would have just told me I'd have picked you up. Like Libra was at the door. Listen, Libra was outside the window. Like, hey, y'all going to let me, it's cold. I ain't eat no food in like eight days. Hello. Hello. Come on. Don't pull that reverse. I don't don't do that shit with me. That's why Libra is like, I knew you was a bitch from the door. Get the fuck out of here. What else did this motherfucker got? Cause now you done pissed me the fuck off. Don't be sitting up there trying to motherfucking kick this shit. Like at the end of the day. Libra could have told you. But the decision was Libra's anyway, so I ain't have to tell you shit. Say, I never forgotten you even when you think I have. I damn sure couldn't tell. You wasn't showing me no attention. You weren't acting like you gave a fuck or to. I damn sure couldn't tell. So it's like, the fuck? Like, people are real fucking funny sometimes. Like, no. Who do you think you're talking to? Now, nah, because I feel really upset about this. I'm really hoping that a lot of people is, is not resonating with this. Because, you know, sometimes there's some energies that come out that I really hope that a lot of people don't resonate with. Because I love all of my subscribers, everyone that supports me and that watches these videos. Because I talk with a lot of y'all in the chat. And I really hope that y'all are not going through this. But this woman is strong. You know what I'm saying? She's strong. She's stronger than what she's acting like right now. Look, your vibrations is still together. You getting your vibrations together, baby. 
You keep you look you coming back like cook crack, okay? You coming back like cook crack. Cook cookie. You coming back like cook cookie. Just right now, it just you can't focus on no unions right now. It you, it's not about that. God needs you to spend some time alone and get your vibrations in line right now. Okay? All right? Pink Power Rain, <laughs> Pink Power Ranger pussy, unite! Okay? <laughs> Listen, we on some new shit. I'm on a new level. Bought me a new shovel. Putting niggas in the dirt. Chain with the new bezel. You hear me? Chain with the new bezel, bitch. We shining in a whole different lesson. They can't even afford our, our type of what our grade of diamonds, okay? Listen. <laughs> Listen. You growing and you doing some other shit. You going on a whole totally different way. Like people, people, yeah. I don't know if people going to be able to afford to sit with you. Yeah, because you weren't able to come to your conclusions on this shit. Because I feel like that key, it was hard for you to take back that key. It was hard for you to come to conclusions whether or not if you wanted to take back that key. But you took it back. You sure you took it back. And you realize, like, I got to come to my own conclusions. Like, I don't need to have all of the facts and shit like that or lock, stock, and barrel. I know everything. No, I'm just going on my intuition out here on the bitch. Like, nigga, you may, you throw my vibrations off. You make me feel some type of way. Motherfucker, I I'm, not, I'm not dealing with you no more. I got to start trusting me a little bit more. Fuck that shit. Cause I met this motherfucker last spring and I wish I'd have never got met your ass. I wish I'd have left your ass where the fuck I left, where I met you at. Okay? Yeah, separation. Well, basically, like, regrettably, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to make... <laughs> You're going to have to really, really separate by the end of the spring. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a conclusion that you really ain't want to have to come to, but you know you're going to have to take that key back. Because you don't want this. Listen, you focus on your vibrations, get your pink power ranger pussy energies reunited. You know what I'm saying? Reunited and it feels so good. Girl, you're getting, look, you're getting yourself activated. You're getting yourself powered up. You're getting charged up. Springtime. Okay? You ain't got no time for no unions. You trying to listen. You trying to grow so you can show. Okay? So you can show out this spring. You ain't got no time for no relationships right now. Listen. Like I said, <laughs> Libra is just happy and she's satisfied that she can have a cup of wine again. Because fuck that shit. I, I, I really... Listen, Libra is saying on a strong level, next time my motherfucker get my ass pregnant I can't go out there and have a cocktail and raise hell, bitch. It's going to be for the right one. Until then... Shit, I'm gonna be fucking it up all goddamn spring. Fuck y'all talking about. Listen, y'all ain't gonna see me this spring, okay? Look, you listen. If you ain't come to the conclusion, I'm telling you, I'm taking my key back. I ain't got no time for you, nigga. I don't even want to smell you. I don't even want to feel your energy. I don't want to know nothing about you. I don't want to see you. I don't. I don't. Okay? Give me my key back, and when I get my key back, I'm changing the lock still. You ain't going to see me this spring, bitch. Okay? Separation, okay? Got the gold, motherfucker. <laughs> all right? And by the fall, nigga, I'm going to have it all. By the fall, I'm going to have it all. Listen, there was some dark night of the soul energy going on here, and I know I got some deep shit that I need to deal with because right now I'm in a dark place right now. But I'm picking myself up because by the fall, I'm going to have it all, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no reason for me to take this situation on pause. Nigga, get, 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 get the fuck on. That is not my soulmate. All right? Nigga, get, 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 get it. Get your rabbit ass the fuck on somewhere. Carry your ass on somewhere. You little slew too metal for that. Don't, mm -mm. You better, I don't give a damn how much metal you got in them heavy ass speed of yours. You better walk faster. Let me get your ass on screen. Give me my motherfucking key, bitch. Give me, what's going on in the in the background with Miss Julie, with Miss Julie Brown? What's going on in the background with Miss Julie Brown? Okay, so this is what's going on in the darkness with you. 
in the darkness. And the thunder, and the thunder, boom, 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 lightning, and the thunder, thunder. So what's going on in the midst of that thunder? Libra think y'all motherfuckers irresponsible as shit. And they damn sure wasn't about to do no hell no. Libra wasn't about to commit on that level with you. You stupid motherfucker. Okay? Yeah. You were unavailable and so is Libra. They ain't got time for you because you irresponsible. And you was beyond childish. And ain't nobody got no time to be dealing with no childish, immature ass, grown motherfuckers. And that's the sad thing. You older than me. You got gray hairs on your balls. Okay? <laughs> self-indulgent. Oh. Libra said that this person was extremely self-indulgent. Oh, you were really full of yourself. You were all about what you wanted. When you wanted to come around. When you needed something. And Libra seen the warning signs with you. And got the fuck out of there. You were over self-indulgent. Ooh, numb your whole ring, get yo, honey. You about to make me do some chants. You about to make me do some chants off this mug. Mm mm. Libra, I'm so proud of y'all because let me try to tell you, cause this is somebody new. This is not somebody. This is not the ex. I don't think this is the ex. Y'all clarify for me if this is the ex. I don't feel like this is the ex. Was the emperor? The one that used to be in y'all readings all the time last year. I don't remember. Yeah. Chills. You said, <laughs> Libra said, I, listen, I don't need no confirmation about this shit. I don't need, listen, Scorpion Reds. I like, listen. I don't even need no confirmation about this shit. This, I, I, I deal with this motherfucker every day. I don't got no peace with this situation. Shit, this shit don't even... I don't even need no confirmation about this shit. Yeah, you always be hitting on this shit, but shit, I... Look. What the fuck? Like, I feel like this person don't give you the chills no more like this. You know, like, when you first dating somebody and you be really excited to, to, to see them and stuff like that. And they kind of just give you that urge, and sensation, that, you know, the chills or that nervousness and stuff like that. I feel like this person doesn't give you the chills in a good way. They give you the chills in a bad way. Like, oh, when I see you, ugh, it's a confirmation that you the, the fucking uh, spawn from hell envy this person is clinging oh because they want your support in your coins but Libra's not doing that no we're not doing that sorry take care now bye bye then what is this number nine profound lessons are at hand completions of cycles are near okay yeah take care now bye bye then you're an idiot what is it saying Energy alignment. Names. Oh, some names came out. Huh. What names? Oh. Oh. Oh, so, you know, niggas been counting me, y'all. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. Yeah, okay. I got you. Niggas been counting you out. You, you counting your bullets. You loading your clips. Okay. You're getting your energy in line. And it's like you're not trying to use force out here. But before I close this chapter, it's some people that I might got to check because they put me in a situation where I just felt like it was a, it was a lot of misery and un thorns. Yes, hardships. You put me through a hardship that I ain't even had to go through. And I'm about to gather your ass. I'm about to gather all y'all up at this table and I'm about to get some straightening going on. Somebody done got Libra in they motherfucker in a way that y'all didn't want to have Libra. Would it be, bruh? Somebody, look, Libra brought the rain down on somebody else. <laughs> okay. This person gives Libra the chills in a bad way. Because there ain't no peace with this situation when they deal with this person, when they think about this person. That's why Libra said, I don't even want to smell this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? 
You give me the, the heebie-jeebie chills, bitch. I don't have no peace when I'm around you. Irritating. And the only reason why you clinging to me like this because you want my money that you're not going to get, bitch. Fuck out of here. Libra, y'all must be having some money. Let me borrow a few dollars. Let me borrow five dollars. <laughs> Listen. Tuh. There are some profound lessons at hand that are at play here. Y'all might be seeing 999 nine, nine, or just a lot of nines. That means it's completion to some cycles. And some names might come to mind when you think about this completion of some cycles. Because there's certain names that come to mind when you put everything together, fuck up your energy alignment. And niggas been counting you out. You counting your bullets and you loading your clips. Because you don't want to have the motherfucker bring that hammer out on these niggas. You don't want to have the motherfucker nail niggas to the ground. Doodoo -doo brown. You don't want to have to do that doodoo -doo brown on them. Go, 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 go. No, we not doing that. Go. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because this person bought a motherfucker some... A, a, a big-ass dose, dose of unhealthy luck and hardship that Libra ain't want to experience. Libra ain't want to experience. And you know what? Libra don't want to have to bring the hammer out. Don't want to have to bring that sludge hammer out. And nail niggas to the ground. Put the nail in the coffin. You know? Don't want to have to do that. But it seems like we're going to have to gather some motherfuckers up at this table and get some dressing. Okay? I need some, I need some dressing for my salad. I need some dressing. We got some addressing to do. Okay? We need some dressing. We need to address some things. We need to gather all, get all these names. Yeah, we need to address some things. Because, yeah, some profound changes is, is popping out. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's find out what's what's going on with Miss Messy. Okay. What are we addressing? What kind of dressing do we have on our salad? What kind of dressing is on the table? <laughs> Strength. <laughs> Listen, Libra coming at you full force. You know? And it's like, you know, I'm trying to restrain myself right now. I really ain't. I really don't want to let forth the beast. So I'm going to sit here at this table and now I'm going to have some restraint and some strength, you know. And now I'm going, you know, because I'm looking at you like you're fucking stupid. I'm looking at you how I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you how I'm looking. Bitch! Did you wake up the beast from the Middle East? Did you wake up the beast from Southeast? Did you wake up the beast from Northeast? Did you wake up the beast from the west side? Did you wake up the beast from the north? Okay? Did you wake up the beast from the southwest? Okay? The southwest where we don't need no vest. Did you do it? Did you do it? Didn't you knew it? You didn't know? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's all. Oh, no, no, no. Father, no, no, no. Why you just do that to me? That was, no. Was that a whole lot? Y'all always be, it's always the damn Kansas and the Libra. Y'all always be trying to have me working, working, working day and night. Ho, ho, baby. Working, working, working day. I don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. Working, working, working. Mm -mm. Hoo, ha. Ooh, baby. Mm -mm. You got me working day and night. Come on, Libra. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Bitch. Listen, I'm going to restrain myself when y'all come to this table. Because I just, I got some shit I just, I need to talk to you about. What is this, the five of wands? Yeah, I ain't competing for, I'm not doing this. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. I don't want to hear, no, I, I, listen, 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 listen. Check this out, check this out, check this out. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because I've been through worse than you. You know what I'm saying? But I just can't keep running away. So before... See, that's what I did last time. I just broke up with the motherfucker and I never kind of let it off my chest. What I, You know how I felt? But you're not getting your ass away before I get some straightening going on with you. And I'm going to try to say this nicely, but you put me through some unnecessary bullshit. This shit was unwavered. That shit ain't have no flavored. That shit was unflavored. Okay? 
I, I ain't appreciate that shit, bitch. What is this? The hangman in reverse. What is it says? New perspective. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I had to literally remove for myself from this situation and do some shit that I didn't want to do for me to really be able to see things the way that I should have seen it when <laughs> I first got hung up with you. But now I'm trying to get down. Because ain't no... Listen, you don't... Where's my key? Didn't I tell you when you come here to this table to bring me my fucking key? Where's my key? Where? Oh, thank you. Thank you, bitch. Yeah. Now that I got my key back, bitch. I got me back, bitch. Get out of... Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not going to sit there and be trying to nurse no motherfucking wounds with you, bitch. You dry fucking goddamn cunt monkey. I don't have shit to do with you. No, just, I, I, listen. Just don't call me no more. Don't call me no more. After this conversation. No. Because, look. Your family and your friends that be sending me messages. You know that Robert. Um, he feels really bad. And he ain't mean it. I don't get that bitch. Why are you messaging me? Why are y'all hoes in my business? Bitch, was you a witness? Why do you think you know what be going on in my life? Tell these bitches to stop confronting me with shit that I don't want to hear about before I punch all of y'all in my in, in your face, okay? Stop! <laughs> defense mechanism. I Listen, ain't nobody got no time. Nobody want to give a fuck about no defense mechanism. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you left me out there by myself, I was isolated and alone, and you motherfucker right, I'm going to stay isolated and alone. So st stop fucking calling me. Stop getting your family, your friends contacting me, and all this shit. All y'all trying to confront me, because now Robert's hurt, because Robert can't believe what the fuck I did. Robert better suck a dick. Because when I was hurting, when I needed shelter, when I needed food, and I was pregnant with this motherfucker's baby, did Robert give a fuck about me? No, Robert was out there being a long wolf. He ain't give a fuck about what. He ain't care. So y'all can listen to Robert and Robert's bullshit all the fuck you want. No, she she's lying. I did come to try to pick her up. I was the type of person. I was being a good, you know, man. And she was, you know, she was, when I met her, she was down. What? Bitch, I'll punch all y'all in your mouth. I will punch all y'all in your mouth. But you know what God told me? <laughs> I'm going to get the satisfaction that I deserve. That's why I'm, you know, I'm, just, I'm about to drink a glass of wine before I fuck y'all up. You know, I like a little wine with my with my table gathering. That's why I brought all y'all bitch asses to the table. So I could get some straightening done with all of y'all and drink some wine. Why I'm being divine and fine, may I add. Yeah, bitch. Okay, so let me finish collecting, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because guess what? Y'all think y'all bought me bad luck. <laughs> y'all think that y'all bought me hardship and misfortune. See, I'm not using force with you. Because God warned me. God warned me. Okay? Because I was counting my bullets. I was about to load my clip. Because I told, you know, Jesus, I had a few names that, you know, I needed to get some in. I needed to get their chakra aligned. I felt like I needed to get their spinal tapped. I needed to get they, they, they shit aligned. And God said, you know what? Just give me the names. I, I'm a, I, who? Oh, who you inviting to dinner? And you said you wanted some wine? Okay, no, no, it's okay. I'm a... I'm I'm anoint you with whatever you need. No, cause we 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 gonna get some straightening. You ain't even gotta do all that. Father got you. Cause guess what? You know what? You know what? We moving in a new direction. It's a different world. It ain't no point of pulling your vibration down no more. These motherfuckers are people from the past. Okay, they smell like ass. They ain't got no cash. Okay, that's why they was trying to. <laughs> okay. They, they ain't 
ain't got no they they ain't got no cash for real. You know? Cause if they if they did with grown ass motherfucking immature I'm not gonna do it. Listen, you weren't able to see it to make a decision cause you ain't you wasn't able to see this person for who they was cause you was in love. You was in love did and you still in love. <laughs> Libra, you still love this person. You still love this person. You still in love with this person. However, you on your high priestess shit. This again shows someone might have had a loss of pregnancy. But you ain't hiding. Okay? You ain't hiding. And you ain't about to let nobody, you know, have you hidden in a corner somewhere because of whatever happened. You know? And right now, you might got some secrets of your own that motherfuckers might not like that might throw their cherry a little bit the fuck off balance. Okay? So, <clears throat> about Mr. Emperor. Okay? I feel like um, Libra got some secrets about Mr. Emperor. Miss, I want to pick up the little lamb, right? You trying to portray Libra like, oh, I'm she, this little lost, helpless lamb and I had to pick her up. Oh, really now? Really? Really? Now tell your family that keep calling me and all this shit. Now tell the motherfuckers how you really be acting, you bitch. You an old bitch. You an old, feeble, broke bitch. Trying to take advantage of younger people. Being all controlling and, and, and mani okay, no. Let's find out what's going on. What is the truth going on behind the emperor? Picking up little lost lambs. What's going on with him? What's going on with him? The son. This motherfucker ain't happy with himself, bitch the fuck? I'm about to read this goddamn deck. The Queen of Cups. I feel like this person has left a lot of women that are insecure, alright? Emotional wrecks, clingy, and just feel completely misused and abused. He has a long history of these women that he has left in the past because this motherfucker is unhappy and he breeds unhappiness. So thank God that you didn't have that baby by that fool. The three of wands in reverse. Okay? This motherfucker can't make heads or tails of his motherfucker situation. All right, he need to make movements forward so that he can progress his life, but he don't know his head from his ass. Okay? Hmm. That's why his life ain't going nowhere. The Queen of Pentacles. Only thing he does is come around and act like he gonna come and kiss your feet and be the best thing that you've ever known since sliced bread so he can take advantage of you and rob you, drive your fucking money. Two. Two of wands. This motherfucker always got two directions that he can take in life. Meaning, he always has two options. But does he create those options for himself? Huh. You bitch. Five of chalices. Stop. Thinking about this person. Because guess what? While you process this shit. And you think that you're going through some shit. Mourning over this shit. This bitch is feeling even worse than you. So you process your shit. And you move on. And you have hope for the future. You let this motherfucker mourn. Fuck him. This person don't know their true worth. How could they be anything to anybody. If they ain't shit to they self. Yeah bitch. They weren't never lucky. They weren't never successful. They weren't never acknowledged. They weren't ever a winner in life. That's why they treat people like that. This motherfucker, okay, is immature. He ain't nothing but a nasty old fucking creep daddy online looking at young bitches booties sending out dumb stupid ass messages and shit like that you just an old little this nigga probably be on plenty of fish as old as you are immature as shit 
And this person needs to grow up. And they need to mature and they need to see the error of their ways and how much a little... Look at this motherfucker. How much of a thirsty, old, nasty bitch that you be acting like. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. This person needs to be patient and actually work towards some shit that's actually going to amount to something. Okay? As if he would ever amount to anything. But he needs to plant seeds that are actually going to grow to amount to something. Only thing this bitch gives a fuck about is getting his dick wet. Fucking bitch. Two of Pentacles. This person always keeps two. Always sneaking up behind a new booty. Fuck out of here. Knight of Wands. As quick as he come in, he come out. And he's all about the sex. The temperance. This person kept you off balance. I'm not about to read this whole deck. Fuck this motherfucker. Don't be hung up on this motherfucker because this nigga is looking at you online and he hung up on you. He hung up on you because you thriving and then you, you and your best bestest, bitch. And that nigga is asbestos, bitch. I don't want to smell you. I can't even tell you how much I don't want to smell you or be around you, you nasty, sick, fucking perverted bastard, you, bitch. You can't stop my world from moving on. You can't stop my world, bitch. You can kiss my ass, though. I done dropped the burden from you, you bitch. You ain't nothing but a fucking nasty ass whore. Only thing you give a fuck about is getting fucked. And yeah, I got fucked by you, but you gonna get fucked, you dumbass, because your karma is fucked up, you bitch. The moon. Y'all might be dealing with a goddamn Pisces or a Cancer, but there's too many secrets looming around behind this bitch and this nasty motherfucker might be into some swinging nasty freaky ass shit that you don't want nothing to do with. And you motherfucking better not because there might be some other shit lurking up up, up in his... Listen, mm -mm -mm. this shit look like a breeding haven for an STD. That's what this look like. Shit. So y'all lucky that y'all left him when y'all did. Fuck this bitch. I ain't read no more. Fuck this nigga. Because this shit made me mad. Y'all know I don't play no shit about my Libras. Fuck this nigga. Libra, I'm out. If this video resonated, if it made any sense to y'all, or if y'all know somebody going through this shit and they need to see this, send this shit to them and shit. Tell them when, when they gather these motherfuckers up at this table, have your wine because you're going to be satisfied when you get the fuck up off this bitch. Okay? I'm reloading. Boom. I'm out.